Hey YouTube, my name's Diana and welcome back to A Seasoned Mom and an Empty Nest. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I fill my empty nest. And one way I did it is through art. And um, I love art. I, I painted a lot when I was a little girl and drew, I did a lot of drawings and I, um, my grandmother on my dad's side, she, she taught me how to paint and, um, I love it. It's just, it's a getaway for me and, um, I'm pretty much self-taught. I was in the National Arts Honor Society in high school. Oh, good Lord, that's 30 some odd years ago. So, oh my, other than that, I, um, I took a break from it right out of high school. I did. I, um, started a family and um, I dabbled in it just a little bit here and there but I was busy I was busy with three boys and and homeschooling and um, I did do some um, art classes with my boys and um, my oldest son he just wasn't interested in art at all but he's an artist but he's just a different kind of artist he does metal art and then my middle son he was the one that was interested he um, would sit with me and he would paint and he loved it and he actually um, asked me not very long ago if we could sit together and paint again like we used to and I thought that's going to be, we're going to do that and that's going to be fun. But anyway, and then my youngest son, he's an artist but he's a musician. That's his kind of art. So um, I took a break from it. I did a little bit, you know, for, for their classes and then I dabbled a little bit here and there. And um, I'll share all that with you later, but um, I wanted to just um, tell you that in 2016, probably, gosh, was not, it was January of 2017, because we moved here in 16. So it was in January 2017, I picked up the art brush again. Yep, it took me that long to do that. And um, I just started, I, I had painted a little bit with acrylics, but not much. My choice of paint was always oil paint. And then um, I, I had painted a couple of times with acrylic, but not a lot. So, I mean, not, not even enough to know you should put water with it. <laughs> I, I had to learn. So I, and I taught myself and nobody taught me. And um, I went to the library and I got some books and then I did find some stuff on, on the internet and I figured out how to use the acrylic paint. And then I started by painting um, on glass. But I wanted to tell you first about a contest that I entered recently over the summer. And it took me from when we moved here, when I decided to pick up my art brush, I decided two years ago I was going to enter this art contest. And it's for a wine label. And I thought, well, how fun. <laughs> I want to do that. I could do that. And then, um, so I wanted to enter this wine label contest. And I got the dream in 2017. And it took me two years to get up enough courage to enter this contest. And it took me over a year to do the painting and I don't know why. I mean, I whipped out the first part of it in like two days and then it took me almost a year before I'd sat down and whipped out the second part of it in two days. So yeah, I could have had it done in a week and I could have entered it a long time ago in 2018. It would have been ready if I would have just took the initiative to do it, but I didn't. So I got it finished and I entered it into this contest and um i made top 10 artist i couldn't believe it i was like oh my gosh so um top 10 artists got a free booth at um walk in the art art in the walk art in the park art in the park something like that that's terrible i don't even know what it was anyway got a free booth there and um I was so excited that I made top 10 artists, so, um, we, and I didn't know who won, you know, I didn't even know if they had picked a winner yet when we got there, I just, I didn't know if they had announced it and if the winner already knew, or if they were going to announce the winner and it was going to be a surprise, I just didn't know. So anyway, I got a booth there, 
and there, there was a lot of good artists there. I was really surprised. And um, I remember one particular lady that just almost stole my thunder. And I'm going to tell you about this because I think it kind of changed a lot in me and my perspective of myself in art and just doing art and not worrying about what other people think. But there was another lady there and she was, um, you could tell she was um, just cut above the rest <laughs> I guess you could you can say you could tell she was um she came from a lot of money and that was very obvious just by what they drove in and and um just the representation of herself and everything and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and um I remember she came over to me and I was standing at my booth and I had all of my stuff out and um because um top 10 went the top 10, like I said, you got a booth. So we brought, I brought all my stuff to sell that I had done. They had ready. And she was looking at my art and, um, all of a sudden she, she just started asking me these questions that I have absolutely, she was using terminology I had never even heard of. I was like, what, thinking to myself, what is she talking about? And then she was talking about, I, I remember something about a certain kind of wash. I, I, was just I think I don't even know I think my I think I just spaced out I don't even remember what I told her I was just like and I remember thinking you are completely and totally out of your element and then all of a sudden she was telling me about the bit the art school that she attends and and how her professor made her do this and blah 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 and I'm just like oh my god you're really out of your element here. And I started really feeling like very insignificant. Like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I was in, in my, I was in the right spot. So I remember she walked away and I just stood there and I did not let it go. It stuck with me for about 45 minutes to an hour somewhere because it stuck with me for a while as I watched people and I looked at the other artists stuff and then I mean, they were really good and I was like, great. <laughs> and um, I went over to look at everybody's entries that every and you could put in more than one entry. And um, there was two individuals that was had their backs to me when I walked up, and everybody's entries were like in a half circle, and um, they were kind of over here, and I came up behind them, and I was looking at mine. Mine was right here, and I was really close to them. There was like a couple pieces between them. And I overheard their conversation. Yes, I sat there and I listened to it too because I was like, really? And they were talking about this lady's art. And I, and I was shocked that their opinions were the same as mine. But I thought, oh my goodness. So she had done something to her art that just made it I don't know, it just, it was, I didn't like it, but I kept thinking, gosh, had she not done that, is she, that would, that sure was pretty, that sure is pretty, but then that happened, and I don't know if it's even the technique she's asking me if I do, but all I know is they were telling each, they were talking to each other about how pretty it was, and that she ruined it with this technique that she did to it. And I remember just sitting there listening to that going, okay, and I walked off because I didn't want to hear the rest. <laughs> I didn't want to hear them come down and talk about mine. I was like, get out of here now. And I walked back to my table with my booth and I was like, so those people, which I later found out, they were both judges. That, I was just like, wow. And they talked about her art and 
um, it made me realize it doesn't matter what fancy school you go to and if you have a degree it doesn't matter if you're using some technique that has a big old long name it just doesn't matter I don't know any of that stuff I just do me so if you see me doing a technique and you think it's wrong I don't mind if you comment below and say you know what this is a better way to do that if I'm doing something wrong but I'm pretty much I'm just self-taught and I, I learn as I go. That's it. So, I'm going to go back to this contest. First, I want you guys to go check out my painting. I want you to go check out my painting. And I'll let you see what it was that I entered. And then we'll come back down here. Be back in just a minute with you. So, this is the painting that I entered into the wine label contest. And, no, it did not win. But I had fun. And now I have... This nice piece of art on my wall here upstairs okay so now that you saw my painting I want to tell you about the festival of course I went <laughs> I'm like of course I went and um, but one of the things that happened when I left there was that I realized because what one the the um, painting that won I'm mean, yeah the painting that won the contest was watercolors and I noticed that they do a lot of watercolors um, that win this I've seen their past interest and watercolors seem to win it I hate watercolors I, I can't stand them they, there's nothing like first of all I am a control freak I guess I don't know I, I like to be in control and as soon as that paint hits that paper and starts just running every direction, I get really frustrated. It makes me mad. I'm trying to stop it. I hate watercolors. And I made my mind up that I was going to learn how to do watercolors. So I actually went and took a lesson. I did from another artist that um, she's actually my mom's best friend. And she's an amazing watercolor artist. She does really good. I look at her paintings. I'm like, I don't know how you do that. I can't. And um, she puts her entries in um, a lot of different um, galleries and content and shows and art shows and stuff like that. But anyway, I went and took lessons from her, and I did three watercolor paintings over the summer. And I'm sure you're probably not interested in seeing them, but I want to go back to. I went to the festival, and she came with us. We invited her, so she's in New Mexico, and she drove up to Colorado to go to this wine festival with us, and um, it was so much fun. And when we first walked in, I saw something that I wanted so bad. We, they have vendors all the way around. I mean, artists. It's really cool. And I saw this coffee cup, and I was like, coffee cup but I walked away because I wanted to see what everybody had and we went and sat in the middle on the grass and we all had our glasses of wine and our cheese platter and everything and I could not stop thinking about this coffee cup so I'm at a wine festival you would think I would walk away with a bottle of wine or something but I didn't I went back and I found that coffee cup and I was so afraid that it wasn't going to be there but it was I'm going to show this to you check out this coffee cup is that not the coolest see the cabin and then the little pond in front of it and the mountains in the back i love this coffee cup and then you turn it around and it's just it's just beautiful i'm i loved it i was so afraid it was going to be gone but it was there and so i bought it and then i look at it and i think often that the reason why i love it so much is because of my hand painted ornaments. I'm gonna take you over there and let you see these. So let me turn the camera around. All right. So I paint ornaments. So here's one and then check out my cup. These ones are just on the front. But this one's cute. It's got a little wagon there. But these ones over here are the ones that that one reminds me of. See, where's this one at? Is it this one? Yeah. This one right here is the very first. Let me get the ribbon out of the way. This is the very first ornament I ever painted. And 
I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not. I'm still debating. It's all the way around. The ones that are all the way around. Oh, 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 oh. I like this little guy. It's my very first buffalo. See how the wind's blowing his hair? I just fell in love with him. With the barn. Anyway. And then, so the ones that I paint all the way around, those ones I sell for more than the ones that I just paint the fronts, like this one. But, I think that's why I got this great coffee cup. Isn't it cool? Okay, so I just wanted to share with you my spoons real quick. Um, my friend Sherry, she's a photographer, and she makes calendars. And this was one of her pictures that she put in her calendar. And um, for her, she asked me to paint her a series of spoons made from... Um, just barns. She just wanted some barns. So I went through all the photographs that I could find of hers and I painted this one. And I don't have a picture of the last spoon because um, this one's kind of, is more or less out of my head. She loves blue bonnets and she had taken a bunch of pictures but her hard drive, something happened to it and she lost all of her blue bonnet pictures so I just made one up for her. That's this one here. I do a lot of um, mountain sceneries and wildlife that's that's what I enjoy doing and um, I started this one a while back I need to work on it I took like I said I took my summer break my garden took priority this summer so I did do those other paintings this is a practice piece you're gonna hear me say practice piece a lot <laughs> I'll explain all that as we go, but um, then I have like more pieces. These are on my Etsy store. These are my saw blades that I do. And then I have these that are also on my Etsy store. They're way up there. Okay, now that my chair's not in the way. So anyway, I paint, I paint saw blades, ornaments, spoons, and I do do canvas paintings. I just, um, I have actually a whole bunch of canvases for me to do that with. So what, what my goal is, is to go ahead and, um, get started on some ornaments and I really I need I didn't show you I showed you this a little bit the other day I need to finish this one up it's not gonna take me long to do it but I just need to get it finished up and um, I'm gonna see, actually if I just put that right over here I can work on it I would like to um, Go ahead and do some videos on how to paint ornaments. Do some tutorials and let you guys try right along with me. Give you um, tell you what you need. I'll give you a list and um, of things that you need, and we'll just walk through. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never done anything like that, but um, I'll try to get the camera set up right where we can get an up close of me painting the ornaments and. Um, Try to start off with some simple things. I think mountains and cabins and lakes and streams are easy. So, um, oh goodness. Well, hey, you know what? I tell you what, my grandson is going to be here tonight. I have the privilege of um, getting to watch him every other weekend. So he's going to be here tonight. And I thought maybe we could paint some ornaments together. And maybe I can find something simple snowmen Christmas ornaments with snowmen that might be something cute 
and that is it guys so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you on this note um, with all being said I just I just want to encourage you not to let your insecurities get in the way of um, doing what you feel like you're good at or what you know what God brought you to do the talents that he has given you inside and don't let fear and insecurity and what other people think or say deter you from doing what you want to do to make your dreams come true don't do that don't 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 just don't let anybody else dictate that for you okay so I want to leave you with um, I just want to leave you with this I want to encourage everybody out there to see the beauty in all things and resist the urge to be normal. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.